Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be going over how to make custom battery alerts. So I should start off right away by saying that I am not recording this on a laptop. The reason is, is my laptop isn't good enough to record at 60 frames per second in 1080p in good enough quality to make these kind of videos. I, I simply can't, so this is just going to be going over how to do it. You're not going to see any notifications, but it's okay because honestly, what is important here is just how to do it. So to start off, you're going to need to check the description below and learn how to install the battery tool. And the battery monitor GUI is what you need. And once you've got it installed, and we cover how to install it on all major Linux distributions, you need to open up battery monitor GUI, and I will maximize it here. And uh, from here, you can see, actually, it's probably better to leave it about this size. You can see that there are different settings. So we can see very low battery warning at 10, low battery warning at 30, third custom warning, second and first, along with, uh, you know, the notification stability. So what I would suggest is to change the notifications to let's say 50% for halfway dead, we can set it to 50. For the second custom warning, we can say maybe, you know, 25%. So when it's at 25%, we know it's getting there. In fact, we could change the 30 to 25, and then we could change uh, the second custom alert to 75. So we know that's 25% drained. And the first custom warning, you could set it to whatever you'd like, let's say, 5% for really, really bad, like it's about to die. <laughs> Once you do all of that, you can just click the save button and the settings will automatically be applied. So if I close this and then I go back to battery monitor GUI, I know that all of the information that I have set there is there and I can launch the program with battery monitor. And if I look, it should be running in the background. If I look in the system monitor, no matter. The settings are there and uh, it starts up and all of that. It should be working just fine. So that's how you set up custom battery monitor alerts. Uh, I know it was very brief, but honestly, all you got to do is check and change these settings here and everything works out just fine. fine. Uh, you'll get custom notifications for each and these are all set for percentages. So if you don't like the 75% percentage, maybe you want to go 65, you can do that. You can click save and the settings will instantly be applied and then battery monitor GUI will send up custom notifications. Please check the article below in the description for more information on how to build this program from source and all of that. But until then, this has been Derek and I will see you guys in the next video.